Those of you who follow my channel know that we focus on producing retrospectives for iconic adventure games and franchises of the golden age of the genre back in the 90s. Adventure Games production is still active today, however, and today's video is a mini-review of a modern but retro-style point-and-click adventure game. The Dark Prophecy is a 2D pixel art point-and-click 90s retro-inspired adventure game developed by Star Warp and Meridian 4. It was released in September of 2022 for the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Microsoft Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, and the Nintendo Switch. The plot follows Jacob, an average peasant boy who lives in a peaceful medieval village. One night, a mage appears to him at the lake, charging young Jacob to deliver an urgent message to the court wizard Merlin in order to warn him about fulfilling prophecy number 13. Jacob must make haste to reach Merlin and save the kingdom from the dire prophecy. The game plays like a traditional third-person perspective point-and-click adventure. The typical action commands are tied to the cursor where you can right-click to cycle through the standard tools of look at, walk to, use and talk to. Other than the typical puzzle solving through item gathering and environmental interaction, there are also some magic spells that you need to gather the ingredients of and cast them to progress the story. As a homage to the old school Sierra games, character death is possible where you need to load a saved game. The controls are smooth and easy to learn. Even on the Switch where I completed the game, I had no issues with the user interface. Visually, the artwork is nice with detailed pixel art graphics. To be honest, this nostalgia-based overuse of pixel art in new adventure games seems a bit too much for me. I'm not talking just for this game, but there are a lot of recent adventure games that utilize this type of graphics and this fad is starting to get boring for me. Hopefully, more developers will switch to modern 2D graphics, but this is another topic. Back to the Dark Prophecy, I really enjoyed the color palette utilized that gives a nice medieval fantasy tone to the locations and the game in general. The game, however, has a lot of issues. It is very short to begin with, as we will complete it in less than an hour. There are 14 locations to visit and almost a dozen characters to interact with. The interaction with those characters is an issue, as there are limited dialogue trees, discussion topics and a few grammar and vocabulary mistakes due to the game's poor localization in English. Also, the items you need to pick up do not stand out from the backgrounds, something that may cause a bit of frustration when you need to pass your cursor through every pixel on screen to locate them. The puzzle design is weak, with some of them requiring a precise order with no particular logic. Some dialogue options even may appear on some characters after you have just interacted with an object without any direct connection between the object and the new dialogue options. The main issue of the game though is its story or shall I say its ending. While the plot progresses smoothly and you finally visit Merlin, the game wraps up and ends abruptly. I had to reload my game and go through every dialogue options and the ending location but still the game ends with an in your face sudden plot twist. Overall, the game looks nice and in most cases plays nice but it reminds me of amateur or fan games developed for the adventure game studio in the 2000s. In no way does it give the player the feeling of a professional and concrete game, something that justifies its price tag. All in all, when you find the game in a 90% discount, it will be nice to pick it up and spend an hour, at most, on it. Do not forget to watch my many retrospectives on iconic franchises like Loom, King's Quest, Space Quest, Gabriel Knight and more. You can also find my tour documentary on the rise and fall of the genre. If you like the content of my channel, please consider supporting it by subscribing and turning on the notifications for it to know when a new video is up. You can also consider supporting me by becoming a member of my YouTube channel. There is one membership tier and you will have a lot of benefits like exclusive updates on upcoming videos, you get to watch each new video earlier, you get to decide the topic of upcoming videos and also member exclusive giveaways that will follow. We will have the next episode soon. Thank you all for watching.